Hello everybody, good morning, and welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber, 10 minutes at a time. Alright people, time to wake up, come on, wake up, drag the comb across that head, time to get this bomber built, let's see if we can't get it put together today. And wait for a lightning storm so Dr. Frankenstein can make it come alive. <laughs> Wrong movie. <laughs> Alright. Had to go to the hardware store and get me some more screws. Only had enough to put one on each side. These bottom ones over here might be a little tricky. Not too bad. I'm going to see if I can't get this all plumbed today. Which one did I just put that in? See if we can't make this work. We're supposed to have a lightning storm tonight. Just a little bit. All right, I got that one done. I'm gonna try and get my uh, elevator sanded today too, so I can get that ready to mold. I'm gonna try and get them molded up this weekend. At least the rudder, rudder's ready. Got off my part of the planes done. I just need to finish it up. Someone asked me what grit paper to paint with. You know, I'm, I'm hitting them, uh, my uh, parts with that slick paper just to get them smooth, you know, so they won't stick. But with painting, I usually stop at 600. Stop about 600 is fine. Especially use 600, you know, once you use that 600 a little bit, get that sharp edge off. That's usually all you gotta do. Tammy's in one of them moods today. Smell her, Tammy. Wanna say hi to everybody? Wanna say hi to everybody? 
Say hi, Sammy. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> She's looking at you guys like you're crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy dog right there. I think she thinks I'm her pet. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. I just got a few more screws put in, people. Then we're going to start plumbing it. Get it all plumbed. That one's pretty easy. Now, I just gotta do some plumbing. Let's see what I got for plumbing hose. For that, I don't know if I wanna have enough. No, I'm gonna have to run down to the store for that. Oh, darn it, I don't got near enough. Not near enough, but the good news is, this is just a, like airline, I can get it local here, and it is a super cheap, thank goodness for that, but I'm going to go get me some of that today, I'm going to put my servo in my bomb dropping device, Plumbed. Look at air tank to it. And tonight it will come alive. Here's nighter in the morning. Let's see how I feel this afternoon. See how much I get done because I need to get this. I still need to put my final sanding on that. But I got a good idea on how to frame this all up using this light board. I have all my pieces cut. Like I said, I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I'm going to make it open in the back. Okay. So I'm going to put this board here. I'm going to put this board here. Then when I lay this piece up, I'll drill my, some alignment holes there. So I can put this board back on here when I'm laying up my part. And it'll space it the right distance apart. That way that'll enable... And then I'm going to put one on the bottom too. Okay. Whoops. Y'all know what that means. That way this will be open and that will be open. I can put my post in there for my rudder because it's got to be countersunk in there. And I can get in there and put my carbon fiber tube to uh, hold it on. You know, use a carbon fiber plate on the bottom. But that's the plan, people. So tune in later. And see how we do it on another exciting episode of how to build a B-1 bomber.